Now, just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mixed martial arts. I mean, he's so pretty, John. Now, you always said, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the box screen. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. You ready to fight? Ready? Go. All right, so here we are at the O2 Arena in London, England, and for my money, this is as good a mixed martial arts backdrop as we have. Another capacity crowd on hand, as usual, for the UFC's annual stop here in London. The fans in England love sports. They love competition, and they show up, and they know what they're watching. You better be ready to put on a show when you step foot in the octagon at the O2 Arena. And you better be ready backstage if Leon Edwards is anywhere. Oh, man, let me tell you something. Leon Edwards is the man around here. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Perfect execution on that team. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Big power shot there. Just out of range with that left hook. Add some power there. Nice crack there. Ooh. Lands a nice jab there. Oh, misses with the jab. Just over three minutes to go. Nice shot that might take. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Leg kick lands nicely done. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Connects with a beautiful jab. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Leads with the right punch. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Hook to the head by Ali. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, 
using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Lands a good series of kicks here. Keep your hands up. Use your now. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Quick jab lands there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Straight punch. That is useful. All right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage, another two in play. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Fifteen seconds. Great setup. That was a nasty high kick. Oh, a huge block there. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. You're sucking in right now because you're over committing on your shots. You're throwing too many punches and not landing. Let's go. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Beautiful straight punch there by Ali. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Oh, nice. Shot is blocked there by Ali. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Let's go. Use your keep that right hand that corner. Straight right hand now just misses. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. What a beautiful head kick land. Oh, nice knee. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. I guess it pays DC to be the longer fighter. Big inside kick. Oh, how clean is that jab by Ali? Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. All right, now touches him with the left. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. 
He figured the timing, now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Straight punch. Useful. 90 seconds to go now. Nice jab. He's throwing these punches in combination. Really dictate the pace of his opponent. Unable to connect with the right. And there's a takedown attempt. Throwing that jab, no good. Single collar tie now. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just misses with the straight right. 30 seconds to go in round two. That's a good kick by him right there. Now he touches him with the left. 20 seconds to go round two. Head kick there blocked by Ali. Final seconds here of round two. Round three next. Hey, stop. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious right. bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Back and forth we go. How about that, DC, turning defense into offense, blocks the strike, counters with the jab. He's got a good reach advantage in this matchup, and it certainly looked pretty pronounced in that exchange. Just missed with the left there. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Both fighters throwing heat now. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single count. Oh, nice straight there by Ali. Three minutes to go in round three. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Ali. Oh, the high kick lands. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. 
right on the button. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Just misses with the right. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Single collar tie here. Big punch lands through the middle. Beautiful body kick. Bro, that cut is so bad. Like, can't the referee stop the fight right now? Somebody needs to stop it, because he won't. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the beauty in the fighter. He will not quit. Sometimes, you got to go in there and tell him, hey, man, there's tomorrow. Yeah. It doesn't have to happen today. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Oh, back and forth we go. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. Establishing the jab. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Final seconds of round three. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is... Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big combination. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Quick jab. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Great punch. Well, you know Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart. Courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch, man. Muhammad Ali gets hit by that leg kick. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Working off the jab, it's good. The left 
punches. True now the right hand. Two minutes have gone by. Muhammad Ali gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Just misses with the left hook. a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh. Ali gets caught by that straight hand. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Now a kick to the body. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Ali. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round, and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. He's got that single right power tie. Right back! Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Muhammad Ali gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, what a connection right off the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. That one landed clean. Oh, that body shot hurt him. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can... He's in trouble. On point with that jab today. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. 20 seconds left. All the hands are up, but the double jab gets through. What a thunderous head kick. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Oh, he hurt him again. Oh. Buzzer sounds for what? the end of round four. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. He's cut two. We knew this was going to be a bloody fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Fifth and final round. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. And a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! Oh! It's gonna be a short night if you take many of those head kicks. Oh, nice hook! Jab lands. Nice control in that collar tie. And a massive elbow lands around the guard. Looked like that body kick got home. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. 
I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Leg kick checked effectively there by Ali. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. He's got the single collar tie. Out of range with that one. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Perfect job to split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. He's hurt bad. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh, nice jab by Ali. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, big left. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, big. Oh, we're cutting. Under two minutes now with which to work. Strikes are just brutal. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Such a great job of targeting that cut that now he has his opponent in a critical situation. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, oh continuing to attack the head as that diving stop, punch stop, lands. Stop. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen,